Kansas is full of good men. I don't want to be a good man. I want to be a great one. You're gonna need this! about witches, do you? It's the Emerald City. You are here at last, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. This is my sister, Evanora. I'm here to serve you. The royal treasure of Oz. It belongs to you, but only after you defeat the Wicked Witch. Just how wicked is she? Towns were destroyed. <laughs> Children were orphaned. A great wizard from Kansas. I've waited for you to come and set things right. Me? You'll die, you'll die! Did those crows just say we're gonna die? Your magic is the only thing strong enough to save us all. Please tell me you gentlemen can fight. No. What we sing. Guys, uh, take five. I might not actually be a wizard. Yes, but they don't know that. You are capable of more than you know. Help! Please! Are you the great man we've been waiting for? I think I could be. start by saying that no matter what I might think of this trailer, the idea that I would not go and see a big Disney uh, budget film, fantasy film, uh, probably in 3D IMAX is uh, pretty unlikely. So <laughs> this trailer would have to suck really hard for me to even contemplate not going to the film. And so far, this is the second big trailer. While I'm not loving what I'm seeing, I'm still not dissuaded from buying a ticket. Uh, so let, let's go into detail here. Uh, starting out, the film does borrow heavily from Alice in Wonderland, uh, you know, from the whole the way the look is, you know, someone going on an adventure in a different land. And true, Oz does have, uh, the story of Oz has a lot of similarities to the story of Alice in Wonderland. So I guess there are, there, there are some similarities that can't be helped. But I don't think that the visual style they've chosen here is um, really doing a lot to differentiate the two films. You know, to some degree, that's, I'm sure that's intentional because it's from the same producers and Alice in Wonderland was so successful. And they've even gone so far as to cast James Franco, uh, the other loopy actor in Hollywood besides Johnny Depp. Uh, I, I kind of like James Franco in this role, but I think that he's pulled down by his supporting cast. I do not like the three witches that they've cast in this film. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of any of their work, really. Maybe Rachel White's a little bit outside of um, this film, but even even separating myself from my not personally liking their performances, I think that the three actresses, Mila Kunis, uh, Michelle Williams, and Rachel White's, but particularly the first two, have a very indie vibe. And I think that they just don't kind of really match with the, with the mainstream kind of film like this, you know, a, a big budget picture. So I, I really think the casting here is, is considerably off to, to the point where I think that that's going to do the most damage to the film. I almost would have preferred unknowns. But uh, this is the cast we have. But I think that, that there's four witches in Oz, as we all know, to the north, the south, the east, and the west. And I think that it is not a good idea that they continue to hide clearly the most interesting witch, the Wicked Witch. Uh, you know, played by um, Margaret Hamilton in the original film, and you can see glimpses of her here. You see her CGI hand, but the coolest new shot, and the coolest shot of the trailer, in my opinion, was the, is that last shot where you see her in that um, f that fire tornado, which, with the sound effects, is so cool. I mean, that shot alone is why I'm going to see this movie, so that I can experience scenes like that. And uh, it worries me that there there's not more magic in the trailer. It makes me feel... I know they have a huge budget. They should just... This should just be like 
an hour and a half of magic demonstrations uh, of witch fights, in my opinion. I would love to see some witch smackdowns. And to me, I think that's going to be this film's strength, and I hope they're just kind of teasing us. Um, I hope they have one more giant, enormous, awesome trailer because oh, but because the witches are what interests me the most about this film, and particularly the Wicked Witch. There's uh, they have new posters for this film, but the poster I find the most interesting and the coolest is the one of the Wicked Witch. I think that's a great character that hasn't been explored, and so I would really like to see that. I'd like to be able to see her cut loose with today's special effects budgets. Uh, so. Those are my feelings on the Oz trailer. Uh, I'm not any more sold than I was with the first one, but uh, I'm holding out hope that I'm going to see some cool special effects when I go and see the movie. What do you think? Is it too close to Alice in Wonderland? Do you have a problem with the casting? Uh, and because uh, you know, and also, do you think you'll get some good witch action? Because nobody knows witches like Sam Raimi. I, I think that that's probably why he got the gig, and I hope that he gets to do some cool stuff with it. Uh, write your thoughts down below, and as always, thank you for uh, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.